Hi all, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm working with this sketch by Christina Davidson and I'm using some very old papers but the embellishments are new. I am starting off with American Craft Texture cardstock and I'm sprinkling some Mr. Huey's Color Mist and this color is called Hot Diggity and um, it's it doesn't look like blood to me and it's a Christmas paper and it really matches the paper that I'm using it and um, I needed something to kind of coordinate with uh, uh, my photos my photos I had my kids dress up you know in red and green back in the 90s is maybe in the year 2000 that this photo was taken um, but uh, in the papers I am so sorry I don't even remember uh, the name of it. Uh, it was something that I had got at Tuesday morning in a paper pad and I went through the um, the remnants that I had left over and I just threw them in a box that I have uh, called Christmas and I put all my Christmas papers in there. I really like this stripe. I think it went very well with the photos and it goes well with the rest of the, the papers. I don't think they're all from the same collection though. Um, I don't really, you know, once again, I don't remember. So I think I cut this square. I think it's an eight by eight. And um, I really like this holly paper. And I believe this is around I don't know, six and a half inches wide and around 10 inches long. And it, oh, maybe it's, oh, it must be less than that. <laughs> Looks like it's about nine inches long. And th the way that this, uh, uh, the sketch is, there's a wide piece that is on the left hand side and it has like, looks like two different kind of textured paper, just like that. And then the square goes on top. But the square wasn't really working for me, the, the green square. And so I go find something else that I like a little bit better. Matches my fingernails, huh? Yeah, the hot diggity and my fingernail color looks nice. And I definitely wanted to put a border around uh, the my layout. So I end up choosing this. It's kind of a cranberry red. I really like the way um, it's kind of an older color like the colors this year seems a lot more pink um, whereas in the years past the cranberry was a very popular color to use and usually I hollow it out but I was okay with letting it go and just using the full sheet of paper and besides it's not cardstock it's regular paper weight and you know it needed some stability of the cardstock. So, uh, as for the embellishments, I am using some of the new things from Sweater Weather, and I may even have something from Pink Fresh December Days. I don't really remember. I made this last week. So, as I go through it, I think most everything is from sweater weather. So as I was laying this down, I saw that it wasn't like straight. It wasn't like a true square. So I chose to change it so I could make, I could cut a, um, a nice even square. And, but I make it a little bit bigger, thinking that I want the square to be bigger. But as I cut it and lay it down, I see it's too big, way too big. So I trim it down again. Now the name of this it, that I titled this is Cowboy Boots. Uh, one year my kids, this, they really wanted cowboy boots. And I know that this is a, um, a little unusual. But uh, so we got my two oldest. Well, I think we got all three of our kids uh, cowboy boots that year. They got the hat and the bandana and the uh, belt and the cowboy boots. So they really love to dress up at this age. So I believe everything there is from um, Sweater Weather and there's the sticker sheet. I don't think I choose anything. 
Oh, I guess some flowers right there. Now, the only thing that isn't is that's from my stash besides the the paper that I've already mentioned is that there are two circles. There's one by the photos and then there's one in the bottom left hand of the green square. And I got those from my stash. I needed something to place the embellishments because they seem to be like floating there. And you can see them much better when there's something solid or appears to be solid, you know, that they can be sitting on. So I chose a couple of flares. The one that's next to the word today is a green Merry Christmas. And the one that's on the right side says, Fa la la, and I got both of those in my click kit for uh, this Christmas. And so I'm thinking that I want to use this red tag, but the red is definitely the wrong shade of red. This is not, you know, working for me. But I was afraid we wouldn't be able to see the the alpha on the green but I end up switching it over to the green and the words that are over there on the right side they're underneath my scissors it's a packet I bet there's six eight ten sheets of these I got it at Hobby Lobby last year and they all say the same thing on each sheet I was really kind of disappointed when I got it home and opened it up and there's only one missing on it that I used it last year and there was nothing that was appropriate for me to use on this layout. So I was a little disappointed and I pushed those uh, you know back into my stash. I love that little penguin. He's so cute. And everything on here is flat except for the flare. I didn't add any dimension to anything. It went together really fast. I was very surprised. You know, when you have the right photos and the right embellishments, you know, sometimes it happens. There, was, there wasn't a lot of hemming and hawing over it either. Either it worked or it didn't. As for the flare, I put those on with the uh, little glue dots, and I think I've used the mini dots, and I used three of them. I find that that's the good number to use on the back of the flare, and it holds them in place on my pages. I haven't noticed any of them coming off from previous, you know, older pages that I've done. I love flares. I think they're they're the best thing. And I also love sequins. Now these I also got in my click kit and I believe I'm just putting down stars. So they're little silver stars. And this is a piece of scrap paper. Uh, I had printed out some, they're like little gift tags and I just wanted to print out my journaling. I think it says, wow, mom, thanks for the best present ever. And then the cowboy boots. My kids just love these. It's so funny what makes them happy. Well, here we are at the end. Thanks for joining me. Um, if you enjoyed this, if you'll give me a thumbs up, uh, if you haven't already subscribed, I'd love to have you. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.